Hello and welcome to Wheel Life, the video diary that helps you to understand what life is like living with an electric unicycle. And in this episode, we're going to have a race. And we all love a race, but this race is to find out which is fastest to get the most essential of all items, popcorn. Now, people often say to me, Jonathan, you are so good looking, so attractive and intelligent and so funny. But seriously, what is the point of an electric unicycle? To which I say, thank you, mum. That's a really good question. And I'm going to see if the electric unicycle today is any good at beating a car and a robot to get popcorn into my fat, middle-aged, oversized belly. Now, this is a dilemma we've all faced many times before. So it's Friday night and it's time for some Netflix and chill, which for men of my age means watching an 80s action film with the air conditioning on. Now we go to the fridge and there's plenty of beer because for some reason we never forget to put beer on the shopping list. But sometimes there's no popcorn. So now in those situations we're left with three choices. Option one is we can do without the popcorn. Option two is we can dash out and get some. Or nowadays option three, we can order a self-driving fully automated robot to come and deliver it to our front door. Now here in Milton Keynes in the UK, we have a fantastic fully automated robot food delivery system that's been running for a few years now. And if it's not in your area, then I bet it will be coming soon. The way it works is you open up an app on your phone, you place your order and a shopkeeper pops that into the robot. That then drives itself to your address and hey presto, popcorn. Now the race is gonna determine which is better at beating this robot. Is it the car or is it the EUC? Now to make this a fair race, because to be honest, I could go to the shop and back by the car or EUC before the spotted youth who's earning minimum wage packing robots has even seen the order. I'm going to buy my popcorn from the local Cineworld Cinema. Now that's so I can get the authentic cinema popcorn taste. Now it's a journey time of around about 35 to 45 minutes for the robot versus a journey of about seven miles by car or EUC. So this is going to be close. So let's find out which is best, the car, the EUC, or just sitting on your lazy ass and waiting for the rise of the machines to begin. Now the electric unicycle I've chosen for today is the Inmotion V12. That's because this is a particularly brilliant wheel. It is light, so I can move it around and pick it up and drag it if I need to. But it's also just lightning quick. Easy to ride and fun to ride. So let's do this. Now it's time to see if the robot can do any better. When I hit the go, I'm going to set the stopwatch going. I'm going to see how long it takes the robot to get to my front door. Here we go, and we are go. The vehicle I've chosen for today's um, race is the mighty overpowered Renault Zoe electric car, fully electric, not to 60 in 3.4 days. I'm not breaking the speed limits, although it is 20 here, so I'm gonna just make sure I don't go over 20. Don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cripplingly slow, isn't it? 20. And away. And we're off, right? Lots of blind corners and things and roads you go across. It just slow you down. You can't go flat out the whole way. You've got to take it a steady decent pace but then when you can open it up boy you're going to really flatten your foot to the floor I'm keeping up with traffic here Keynes, let's not forget, is a grid system of dual carriageways, which means I can go 70 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour, uh, all the way, pretty much. That's much, much, much faster 
for the electric unicycle. And the benefit is I can come through the back way, I don't have to go the long way around, the car has to go and I don't have to waste time trying to find a parking space I'm just straight into the back door Right, here we are, this is the back entrance of, and there are spaces there, blue space, I don't know what that means Three set time, oh come on! Right, machine's not working Right, try again. Got away. Oh, shit, fucking. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Security guard, slow down. Security guard, slow down. Don't drop unnecessary attention to yourself. You can see here, nothing to see here. Thank you. Great, thank you very much. Right, we're off again, we're off. Well, there's a lift, there's a lift, there's a lift, there's a lift. I'm not breaking the law, I'm not speeding. Oh, for goodness sake, we're stuck behind an Arima bus. <laughs> That's not going to help the speed time, is it? Hello, here's your delivery. <laughs> so, <laughs> when the robot came and sent me the coke <laughs> and then not actually sent the popcorn. <laughs> so, um... So I'm back now and the results are in and it was a close race. The unicycle, which I have to say is my preferred mode of transport and put the biggest smile on my face, well I did that journey there and back door to door in 23 minutes and 29 seconds. The car in the hand, which was a very you know, much more expensive way to get around than a unicycle, well that made the journey there and back in 21 minutes and 44 seconds, so the car was quicker by about a minute and a half or just slightly over. Now for me, the unicycle is the much more fun and enjoyable way to get around, but on this occasion the car was slightly quicker. Now the robot on the other hand, well that made the journey much less of a journey, about half a mile in total, and it made it to my front door in a very impressive one hour and six minutes. What was less impressive was it never actually delivered my popcorn. Instead it sent me a bottle of Coca-Cola very frustrating but that's it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you can see that the future will be automated delivery to your door happening anytime soon 
Uh, and if you have enjoyed it, then give me a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe. Add your comments below. And if you've got any challenges you'd like me to do in future episodes, then let me know. Tell me what the kind of things you'd like to see me doing in future episodes. But that's it for this time of Wheel Life. Hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye. Mate. That's just a YouTube channel. Oh. Alright. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs>